Kelly Packard. I'm the head women's basketball coach here at Taylor University. Probably uh, being in the fourth grade and my sister who was three years older, so seventh grade, uh, we were both on the same team and that I got to go into the game before she did, so the competitiveness developed that early, I think. Probably told the score table at the Northern Illinois. Um, they were not professionally unbiased, they were biased. And so in the heat of the moment, I looked over the score table and I was like, well, you just do your job. And so looking back, you know, again, it's all competitive related, but um, it was embarrassing because again, that's not professional to respond as a coach, but some humor now for me is like, you know, well, just do your job and I'll do mine. It's easy. I had taken Ball State to the first ever NCAA tournament and then against all odds um, as the 12 seed, just having such a magical night. And what made it special is that we overachieved um, to the nth degree and it was all about chemistry, um, unity, and just incredible, incredible toughness. Probably the sappy side of me is going to come out. Titanic, um, it just, you know, every, I guess every woman loves a love story, so um, somewhere amidst knowing that those things were true and happened. The Bible, just um, making sure that I digest truth every day. Um, the world distracts us in so many ways, and so if you're not counteracting the distractions with truth, um, can find yourself um, on the wide path instead of the narrow path. I really don't. I mean, I just really enjoy my caffeine uh, before the game and during the game. And um, I just obviously love to dress up. And, and why is that? It's just, it's time, it's game day, it's my profession, it's business, it's um, what you prepare for all week. Oh gosh, ones that I hated. Um, I was just long and lanky, so an endearing name like Bean Pole for a 14 year old girl, um, Stretch. Um, so I didn't appreciate my size until I got much older. Now I realize that most people immediately give you respect because of your size as a female. Oh gosh, before the Tennessee game, I remember telling my assistants that I was either going to vomit or go to the bathroom, which neither were a great option at that time. But you know, just that feeling of like wanting to be here so bad and appreciating being here. And yet now that I'm here, like it's taken my breath away. Um, so just, just that feeling, it was an incredible opportunity. A Starbucks. You know, pretty much 365 days out of the year, and this year, even on Christmas, knowing it would be closed, my husband got me an extra one on the 24th, so I'd have it on the 25th. Actually, probably some of the history classes I took. I was a communications major, but I minored in history, and so um, just really loved diving into world history. Um, I had some great professors that made the class really interesting. Um, I remember some of the names of them, but I just know that we did a lot of reading, sometimes seven or eight books per class. I've always seen coaching as a ministry uh, at every level, at every place, um, but I've never had it be a part of my job description. And so to be able to, to do it freely, to be able to do it as an expectation, um, and it's the grade I give myself every day just today I reflected on Matthew 5.16, uh, do it all for the right purpose, which is to build the kingdom of the Lord. And so to do that here, but under expectation, um, is why I chose Taylor.